Hi everyone, welcome back to Live Darts with me, Phil Bars. It's that time of week again, it's Premier League preview time as we look forward to week 10 in Liverpool. But first of all, before we go there, let's recap what happened in Belfast last week. First up, Mensah Sulevich beat James Wade 8-6. Mensah played James like a fiddle again. The pair met a few weeks ago in Nottingham, it got a little bit spiky. Same again on the Euro Tour, James thought Mensah was deliberately sliding him down. Was he? Maybe. I don't know. Mensah's quite a slow, methodical player anyway. But you could see James didn't learn his lessons and got drawn into it again. And Mensah, thoroughly deserved winner on the night. James, below par to what we'd seen in the Premier League so far. Then from there, Peter Wright and Michael Smith drew 7 all. I'm not quite sure how, if I'm being honest. It was a game that Michael Smith dominated. Uh, Peter Wright's finishing got him out of jail at crucial times. But Bully Boy, when we spoke to him afterwards, he was bitterly disappointed not to get two points. He felt it was a point dropped. Peter Wright, they say he said it, he's not quite at the races at the moment. He says he knows what he needs to do, but we'll see what happens. But 7 all in that game. Then from there, Rob Cross broke Belfast Hearts by beating local favourite Daryl Gurney 8-4. Rob is playing exceptionally well at the moment. Daryl wasn't at his sparkling best, but still played okay. But Rob, 104 average, an 8-4 winner. Voltage is a real danger in this year's Premier League. He's starting to show that form that he showed 18 months ago when he went on to win the Worlds. It was this sort of time of year that his form and momentum picked up. So Rob Cross deserved winner. Last game of the night, Gerwin Price, 7-0 against world number one, Michael Van Gerwen. But the Iceman had two darts to finally end the hoodoo. 16 games now, he's not beaten Michael Van Gerwen, but he's not beaten him ever. First time he's ever taken anything, so it's a start, but Gerwin, bitterly disappointed. MVG, on the other hand, at times he looked as if he was in exhibition mode early on. Um, that same focus, that same intensity wasn't quite there from the world number one, but at 5-1 down, flicks a switch, he just goes into overdrive, doesn't he? But Price will be happy with a point, MVG should be happy with a point from 5-1 down, obviously not bef beforehand, he was a huge odds-on favourite with the bookies and probably bust most stackers. So after Belfast, there's a change at the top of the table as Rob Cross sits top with 15 points, MVG a point behind that. Mensah Sulevich in third place on 12 points. We keep asking him, can he do this? And he keeps saying, no, 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 he can't. I think he can. I think he's a massive dark horse in this Premier League right now. As Mensah, he's playing exceptionally well. At the moment, Wadey occupying the last uh, playoff place with 11 points on from leg difference. Daryl Gurney just sits below that. Um, that's what I mean, the result from the cross game really dented um, Daryl's chances of overtaking Wade. But then from there, going price 10 points. Again, the Iceman will feel he's got a massive chance now. He's played MVG already in this knockout stage where the others have to play him. So he will feel he can get some momentum behind him and gate crash that top four. Then from there, Peter Wright on nine points. I don't think he can make the O2 from here. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Just think it's a bridge too far. I don't think he's playing well enough, in my opinion, to make the O2. Then sitting bottom of the pile with six games to go is Michael Smith on eight points. He's got MVG this week. He said to us last week, if he's to have any hope of making the O2, he needs to win five out of six. If he loses this week to Michael, then he's got to win this last five games to have any chance of going one better than last year. It's a tall order for Bully Boy. Can he do it? Of course he can. He's good enough to. Will he? I don't know because there's a lot of good players out there right now. So to top the table odds, Michael Van Gogh is still 1-4 to four on to top the table, even though he's a point behind voltage at the moment. If you fancy Rob to top the table from his current position, 9-2 to two with the bookies, maybe a little bit of value there because if MVG doesn't beat him, he's in pole position. So an interesting one there. So six games to go takes us to Liverpool this week as we look ahead to what should be a sensational night of darts on Merseyside at their M&S Bank Arena, formerly the Echo Arena. I keep calling that and I know I shouldn't. But it should be absolutely sensational. First game up sees Rob Cross take on Peter Wright. Uh, Cross, the bookies' favourites, you can get a best price of 9-10. to I'll be smashing into that. Looking at the way the two are playing, I don't think that Peter Wright at the moment has the game to live with Rob Cross the way Rob's playing over this extended format. For me, I think Rob's the better player at this moment in time. He's playing better darts. 
Peter Wright at the weekend had an absolute meltdown on the Pro Tour. In one game, he changed his darts four times between two different sets. I just don't know what's going on with him. We know he likes to chop and change, but at the moment, changing mid-game. For me, Rob wins this quite convincingly. I'm going to go 8-4 to Rob Cross in the opener. Then from there, Gerwin Price takes on Mensah Sulevich. Huge game for both. Price needs to beat Mensah to close the gap to that top four. Mensah wins. He pretty much can eradicate Price from catching him with the games to go. Really like this game. Really intriguing. Uh, Mensah didn't have a great Pro Tour at the weekend where Gerwin had the weekend off, didn't play in the Pro Tour. Oh, real tough game to call. If we see the same intensity from Gerwin Price that we saw last week against MVG, it's got a huge chance. But again, Mensah keeps just defying the odds. Says he can't win it. He clearly can. In this game, I'm going to go Gerwin Price to hit most 180s, but I'm going to go Mensah Sudovic to win the game. I'm going to go Mensah to win this 8-6, but real close game for me. Both could go either way, fine margins, could be a big finish or a bounce out or something that splits this game. Third game on, sees James Wade take on Daryl Gurney. James Wade will be looking to bounce back from his under par Premier League performance last week, but good news for the machine, at the weekend he won his first Pro Tour title for I think it's nearly 18 months, two years, I can't remember the exact date, but the machine was in sensational form on the Saturday. Can he rekindle that? Of course he can. He's probably been the player, most consistent player of the Premier League. So it should be interesting. Daryl didn't play badly last week, just didn't quite live up to last year's Belfast performance. Again, he had the weekend off, so should be feeling refreshed. Looking forward to this game, I have to say. Quite intriguing because Wadey just goes like that and the form of Daryl Gurney, it's all or nothing in this year's Premier League. I'm going to go Wadey to win this one. I just think his consistency will get him over the line. I know we said that last week, but I just think that Wadey won't um, have two under par performances in the Premier League. I'm going to go 8 6 to Wadey in this game. Final game of the night sees Michael Smith take on MVG. MVG, odds on with the bookies, 3 to 8, best price you can get right now. Uh, Michael Smith, 11 to 2. I think that just says that one's second and one's bottom as we sit right now. I'd love Michael Smith to win this game just to give himself a chance but sadly I think MVG will win this game I just think that overall consistency Smith missing missing his favourite doubles at the moment as well he's going inside tens a lot leaving himself one die fives here and there he needs to ping some big shots some big averages if he's to get anything this sadly I don't think he will I'm going to go 8-5 to MVG in this game so in the comments below, like you have been the last few weeks, give us your score predictions. There's been some great predictions and some great interaction on all this post. Whatever platform you're watching this on, whether it's Facebook, uh, Twitter or YouTube, give us your score predictions. Remember, follow us at Live Darts on all social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube and the website for all you need to know about this week's Premier League, whether it's the betting odds, whether it's how to watch it live, how to stream it. We've got everything covered for you here at Live Darts. And again, thank you from me and Jay for all the amazing comments that you've given us over the last few weeks about the coverage starting from a Tuesday right the way through to Friday morning when we get the last of the interviews out. So thank you very much and we'll see you all soon here at Live Darts.